Andrew Tucker, and welcome to Andrew Tucker World. What's going on, all my great people? What's going on, all my boxing fans? Um, it's gonna be a real quick video. Um, I'm gonna try to make it a quick video. <laughs> but um, what a performance by uh, David Benavidez um, this past Saturday night against Demetrius Andre. Uh, David Benavidez is a monster. I mean, he's a beast. Uh, very dangerous, very skilled, elite level counter puncher slash boxer puncher. Um, it's not just the hand speed and the power with this kid. It's not just the hand speed and the power with this with this kid. It's not just the hand speed and the power. I mean, it's the timing. It's the counter punching ability that he possesses. I mean. Not just a, not just able. See, people don't know that David can get on his toes. He can hit on the fly. He can get in there and out, out box, out box. You know his opponent. You know what I mean. He just likes to, with great timing and beautiful common and beautiful, beautiful dominant combinations, just like to break a fighter down. You know, uh, I love the his beautiful punch placement. Beautiful timing, the way that he mixes up his attack, similar to Canelo Alvarez, the way that he head body, head body, the way that he sets up shots that you don't see coming on the inside, set them up from the outset up certain shots and counters and even combinations from mid range, uh, in range, in, in close range, boom on the inside, on the outside. There, it's a lot of things that a lot of people even they haven't seen David do before. You know, uh, people don't know. They just think that he's a technical brawler, walk you down pressure fighter. People don't know that this this kid is actually a could be a very dangerous boxer puncher, a per boxer puncher if he wants to be. You know what I mean? It's a lot more to this kid that people haven't discovered yet that he can show you possibly in the next fight, mega fight. Big fight against Canelo Alvarez. It was the same thing with Canelo Alvarez. He's just a pressure fighter. It's just effective aggressiveness. Just walk you down, get you on the ropes. You know, like to stay toe-to-toe, -to -toe, stay in the pocket and beat you up with, with just basically power shots, hand speed, coming with thunderous, thunderous pop, body shots, thunderous head shots. It's not just that. Canelo Alvarez learned from fight going fighting the best fighting fighting against so many different types of styles that e allow him to evolve and transform you know make certain changes in his game transition on transition to a elite level boxer per boxer puncher and i know we have different styles different fighters on a on a certain level of caliber of Elite level styles and fighters. Canelo was one of those guys. David Benavidez is that young lion against the the the, the veteran young lion. Young to me, they both young to me, but young lion versus old lion, we shall say. These type of styles, when they combined, makes a it's gonna make a it's it's a very intriguing matchup, a very intriguing fight. Um two monsters not just power punchers or technical brawlers but two dangerous boxer punchers it's just basically what they specialize in is just breaking you down with beautiful punch placement beautiful countering knowing how to set you up for, for, for certain shots that you're not going to really see coming because they're so their timing and not just fast with it, but just so accurate with these certain counter shots to the body, to the head. These guys are technicians. They just not pressure fighters. Stop, stop thinking that they just pressure fighters and technical brawlers. They're dangerous inside fighters and dangerous outside fighters. Both of these fighters can do it. That's why when you combine these two monsters, it's going to make a great fight. 
It's not going to be David Benavidez dominating Canelo Everest or Canelo Everest dominating David Benavidez. It's not what it's going to be. I could be very well wrong. It could be a one-sided performance on Canelo's end. It could be a one-sided performance on David Benavidez's end. But it would be it would be because maybe the those fighters it's not 100% or not even probably 80% at their best. But these two great monsters, skill elite level monsters, these two great fighters are going to bring their very best against one another. Canelo is not afraid of, afraid of David Benavidez, just like David Benavidez is not afraid of Canelo Alvarez. Y'all know how boxing works. Y'all know how the sport works. It's business first. It's business first. I'm sorry to say it. You know, of course, it's legacy. It's supposed to be legacy first. The best fighting the best. You know what I'm saying? The accolades. When, it, when it's all said and done. The, the wanting to accomplish a lot in the sport. The accolades. The belts. The titles. Whether it's two division, three division, four division, five division world champion. Becoming undisputed in multiple weight classes or one or two weight classes. It's all about the legacy first. We know this. I know this. But at the end of the day, style makes fights and these two styles combined. These two styles combined. When you when I did film study, analyzing, evaluating, looking at the strengths and weaknesses, looking at what they do great, what they're oh, so good at. In areas that could be maybe exploited or, or one fighter could exploit coming from the other fighter. The other fighter can exploit coming from the other fighter. Their weaknesses. I look at all of this. I look at how one fighter can take advantage in maybe one, in, one, one or two areas. And so the same thing with the other fighter. So I'm just telling you, this is going to be a great fight. No, no, David is not going to dominate and run over Canelo. It's not going to happen. He's too he's smart. The ring generalship, the ring IQ, the, the ring generalship, the ring IQ. He's too smart of a fighter and too dangerous of a fighter. You can't make mistakes against Canelo. You cannot come half-stepping. You cannot go in there half-stepping. You got to at least be at 80% against Canelo. On top of your game with the right game plan. Maybe with more than one game plan to beat Canelo Alvarez. But David Benavidez is right now, at this moment, the Mexican monster against King Nalo. He will be ready. He will be prepared mentally and physically. He will be ready. He will be ready. He's ready right now. For Canelo Everest. It's a 50-50 fight in my eyes. I see how Canelo wins the fight. I see how David Benavidez win the fight. Maybe I come with another. Maybe I come. With a prediction. when If they ever. If the fight ever announced. And the fight actually takes place. Maybe I come with a prediction. And give you guys. A straightforward. Be straightforward with you guys. Just telling you the truth. No bias. Because I got love and respect for both warriors. For both gladiators. For both monsters. For both great fighters. I have love and respect for both of them. Canelo can win the fight. David Benavidez can win the fight. It's levels to this. And these guys are on us. These guys are right now ready for each other. And when they clash. It's going to be one of the best fights. One of the best fights. Of 2024. If not the best fight. Andrew Tucker. Andrew Tucker World. Let's go. Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez should be next. Hopefully it is next. 2024. Let's go.